Hey YouTube, in here at the 225, I'm currently, I guess, doing a water change and some other stuff. Um, for, I think about the last two months, I've had some new driftwood soaking. After I redone the tank and got rid of that big, big stump in the middle, um, I had to find some new stuff since I think that was most of my problem with the particles floating around so I'm going to get that in here I need to trim some plants and just do the maintenance on the tank get get everything looking good just like the 30 gallon uh, been busy just haven't had time so I kind of wanted to show the tank before I put the new driftwood in there I've already taken out the other one piece of driftwood I saved from the last setup but Basically, this is what the tank looks like before the new driftwood. Okay, people. Here we are back at the 225. So, as you can see, I've got the new driftwood in there. Still not 100% sure if this is how I like it. But it's what I came up with at first so let's just quick you know look at it from a distance so let's see what we got here okay down on this end um, I, I thought it'd be cool to, to leave this little angle and I don't know to me it kinda looks weird I, I wish I'd have left more down here to get this away from the edge of the tank uh, kind of thinking maybe you know I need to just cut that off right there and this part connect to the tank and this just goes away but like I said I, I'm still kind of you know giving it a little bit of time see if I start liking it or whatever um, by these just being suction cups here I can move it the only problem with this one, I've even thought about, you know, taking this and letting it just rest on the bottom. Because um, right here, you can kind of see it. I think I can see it in the camera. But right there, it's actually connected with a fishing string to the braces going across the top of the tank to, to keep it from sliding down. Um, all this driftwood actually is staying down without any weights except for this piece right there you can see the weight just a little bit but we'll get to that one so that's what I've got down here um, the pearl weed is obviously filling in now I just I didn't even replant any this time I just simply just shaved it off the top um, I did kind of disturb some of it over here you know trying to get this piece of driftwood um, situated how I wanted it I actually took this piece this big piece back out this was from the original setup that I started with in the 225 with the driftwood uh, I did save this piece and you know got rid of the big trunk so I just attached a piece right there and I think it looks pretty nice I, I am really happy with that but I took this piece actually out and pressure washed it one more time um, it actually a lot more stuff came off of it and it looked a lot cleaner than when I just took it to the car wash and pressure washed it the the pressure washer I uh, borrowed from my in my father-in-law worked a lot better than uh, the car wash I don't know how that works but anyways so I like how that looks you know you can see I put some Anubis up there trident fern or lace leaf fern um, that's some uh, actually that's lace leaf fern that's trident fern um, put another piece of course right there kind of covering up that joint another piece of trident fern back there this right here is java fern uh, 
If I remember right, this sword back here is a, a ribbon sword, I think. I, I'm not 100% sure on that. It, it's one of the redder swords, obviously. You can see the red in it. But I just pulled off some of the, the nasty looking leaves to clean it up. The corkscrew jungle valve and then the, the regular jungle valve. I just got in there and pulled out some of the runners. I, I had uh, the corkscrew was running all the way over to here so you know kind of trying to keep that in check I know that's probably not possible the Amanio gracilis in the back not re didn't really mess with that the same with the uh, crinum calamistratum didn't have to mess with that this is the red Nicias. it's it's really starting to do a lot better in this setup I have this time not really for sure what's the difference from here to the other spot I had it unless it is getting a little bit more light. The hygrophilia, uh, the giant hygrophilia, it's it's starting to grow but the fish keep eating on it and then the blue hygrophilia it's got the lot narrower of a leaf than the giant it's uh it's doing really well I'm actually kind of liking it a little bit more than the giant so I've got a couple stocks of it over here on this side and a couple more over here on this side I believe this is a coxcomb my uh, my buddy Jacob gave me some of that so I just put it in there I actually cut off the top that's the top you can see the piece I cut it off put it there. I'm still not 100% sure if I even want some of that in the tank. Brazilian pennywort. I just trimmed it all off and cleaned it up. It was getting kind of leggy. Sturgeon rippins again. This is uh, really starting to fill in. And here it's staying a lot more close to the group that I planted it and just filling in the area. Uh, getting really thick. So I, I'm I'm telling you, I, I'm really starting to like this stuff. So whenever I, if I ever do a, another tank, and I'm hoping to do some more tanks in the house, I will definitely be using some of this. The corkscrew sword, I think it's a Venesis sword, is doing very well. It keeps shooting out runners, and I keep trying to take them off, and I actually didn't get them in this this time but there it is again that's some more Amania gracilis another Reuben sword uh, just you know trimmed it again another narrow leaf fern lace fern got some Anubis back here and then here's where I had to tie that piece of weight on this piece you can see it goes back there and it just sets back in the corner there's no suction cup on this piece but you know got a piece of Anubis on it then narrow leaf Java fern and trident fern on both of those pieces down here some dwarf four leaf clover this stuff's really taken off too um, we should get a little bit more dense it's just shooting out long runners across this area but m maybe once it kind of gets where it's not able to run further it'll start branching out from those compact hygro it's doing pretty nice I wish I maybe could get some more cuttings and you know get a couple more pieces of it around Amazon sword this is the one that came out of the 30 and it just keeps getting bigger and this time I pulled a whole bunch of the, the bad leaves that kind of drooped down after I pulled it from the 30 so I believe this is almost all new growth now but got rid of a bunch of leaves on there my uh, crypt it's growing in here um, even under kind of the higher lights this is what the hydro Philia pendiflitum is doing in this tank. It's, it, I thought it all was going to die, look like it melted back, but it, it's starting to come in. 
had a piece of the blue high grow that broke off, so I just shoved it in there. Got some Laguigia ripens growing here, kind of on the side, and got the uh, Rotella indica growing in the back. And I do the same thing in this tank. I just kind of find the long ones, cut them way down close to the bottom as I can get, and then you know just leave some variation. But <clears throat> All the fish are doing well in this tank also, so I need to I need to still get the the new edition of LEDs on the tank. I just haven't had time. I, I've got a bunch of plans for this tank. I still need to get CO2 on it, the reactor built for the CO2, and I've got a few other things coming for this tank. But I'm just I'm happy that finally got the driftwood in here got you know something more to look at than just the plants and the fish not not that they're not awesome but th this just gives it a little bit more of a realistic feel than just a bunch of plants thrown in a tank with fish swimming around so but like I said I, I'm still kind of wondering if I like this piece over here how it's coming in kind of thought you know a few different things push it back drop it down get rid of that I, I don't know if you guys got some suggestions you know let me know what you think it's just gives me other ideas to kinda toss around but oh the other thing I did is um, the Fluval FX6 you know I was having a problem with with the uh, the flow of it and getting a bunch of micro bubbles from it so after talking to Fluval for man it felt like a month that I going back and forth emails troubleshooting and stuff I finally they told me to try to take apart the motor and clean it one more time which I was like I've done that so I tried it again and I had a bunch of little snails caught actually in the propeller uh, prongs there if you've ever taken it apart there's kind of smaller holes and they were caught in there and as soon as I took those out I've not had one problem with it the flow's been great so within the troubleshooting process we actually you know my flu balls right here under this side of the tank and I had taken it out and put it moved it to the back well since I'd think I fixed the problem I decided to go in and move it back up under the tank so I did that also I bet you overall I probably spent six hours alone working on just this tank so lots of work hope you guys like how it looks leave me a comment subscribe to my channel Hope you guys liked the video. We'll talk to you all later.